Hello children, welcome to the class. Children, today we are going to learn new poem, The Field Mouse. And this poem is written by Cecil Francis Alexander. Before going into the poem, we will learn few things about our poetess. Cecil Francis Alexander, she was born in the year 1818 in the month of April. And she died in the year 1895 on 12th October. Cecil Francis Alexander, she was a Hein writer, poet. And she is known for her famous work, Heinz for Little Children. She used to write short Heinz for children. And children, in this poem, The Field Mouse, the poetess, she asks questions and she gives advice and requests the mouse. She has questions like, what do you do all during winter season hiding in your hole? And also she asks the mouse not to make its hole in the storage area, storage house or in the house. Where the farmers have stored their grains with so much pain, with taking lot of pain. And also she advised the mouse to make its hole under the oak tree shadow and only relay or only eat the fruits of the oak tree so that the farmer's grains will be safe. Right? Because they have taken so much pain to grow the grains and to store them in a safe place. Here the uh, poetess, she requests not to steal the grains. And as we children, now we will move on to the poem. The field mouse. Where the atron tumbles down, where the ash tree sheds its berry. With your fur so soft and brown, with your eyes so round and merry. Scarcely moving the long grass, Field mouse, I can see you pass. Where the atron tumbles down, where the ash tree sheds its berry. With your fur so soft and brown, with your eyes so round and merry. Scarcely moving the long grass, field mouse, I can see you pass. Little thing in what dark den lie you all the winter sleeping. Till warm weather comes again, then once more I see you peeping. Round about the tall tree roots, nibbling at their fallen fruits. Little thing in what dark den lie you all the winter sleeping. Till warm weather comes again, then once more I see you peeping. Round about the tall tree roots, nibbling at their fallen fruits. Field mouse, field mouse, do not go where the farmer stacks his treasure. Find the net that falls below. Eat the acron at your pleasure. But you must not steal the grain he has stacked with so much pain. Field mouse, field mouse, do not go where the farmer stacks his treasure. Find the nut that falls below. Eat the acron at your pleasure. But you must not steal the grain. He has stacked with so much pain. Make your hole where mosses spring. Underneath the tall oak's shadow. Pretty quite harmless thing. Play about the sunny meadow. Keep away from acron and house. None will harm you little mouse. Make your hole where mosses spring underneath the tall oak's shadow. Pretty quite harmless thing play about the sunny meadow. Keep away from acron and house. None will harm you little mouse. So children in this poem, it is based on the field mouse having a soft brown fur on its body and having a round eyes and always moves through the long grass where the oak trees fruit 
that is acron fruit has fallen down under the tree okay and the poet see, uh, tells us that the mouse is seen coming out of its hole to eat the fruits which has fallen on the ground what is it the field mouse poem is based on the mouse which we find in the field okay which is having soft fur brown on its body and which moves along the grass for the fruits which has fallen on the ground okay the fruits of the oak tree acorn fruit okay, and also the poet tells us that the mouse is seen coming out of its hole to eat the fruit acorn fruit which has fallen on, under the tree on the ground okay next little thing in warm dark den lie you all winter sleeping here in the second para the poet asks the mouse what you do during all the winter season don't say that you sleep through the winter season and also he tells us that the mouse is only seen coming out of its hole only during summer season okay, and also in summer season it comes out of its hole and it, it just peeps from its hole and it uh, looks through the surrounding okay it just peeps out of its hole on the tree and the mouse only comes out of its hole when it want to feed on the acorn fruit and as such then in second para the poet he asks question that field mouse what do you do during the winter season and i can see only during summer season that you just peep from your hole and to see what is happening around the field and only you will come out of your hole to feed on the acorn fruit what you do in your dark den dark den mean what you do in your hole now in the third para field mouse field mouse do not go where the farmer stacks his treasure find the nut that falls below eat the acorn at your pleasure but you must not steal the grain he has stacked with so much pain so in third para the poet again he again request he request the mouse not to steal not to steal the grain which has stacked the stack means here arranged neatly so which is stacked by the farmer because he has taken so much pain to grow the grains and to store the grains in a safe place so please don't steal the grains or don't eat the grains which has been stored by the farmer so you can eat you can feed yourself on the fruit and the acorn fruit at your pleasure at your pleasure means how much fruit you want you eat but please don't steal the grains the next make your hole where mosses spring underneath the tall oaks shadow pretty quite harmless thing play about the sunny meadow keep away from corn and house none will harm you little mouse so here in last para the poet tells the poet request and the poet advise the mouse so here make your house or make your hole in the a shadow of the oak tree under the shadow of the oak tree and please do not uh make your hole or do not uh spoil the grains and don't make your hole in the storage house or in the house where the farmer has stored his grains okay you can eat as much as fruit you want and make your hole under the oak tree's shadow and you can play you can play under the meadows in the summer season right meadows means a place with having green grass a land of green grass so you can play in the green grass make your hole under the oak tree and 
you must you can eat how much ever fruit you want none will harm you but please don't make your hole or don't spoil the grains which has been stacked safely by the farmers and this is the best thing where you will not be harmed by the humans and even you can also live safely and happily in the meadows and the switch children i hope you have understood and once again i'll read out the poem where the acorn tumbles down where the ash tree sheds its berry with your fur so soft and brown with your eyes so round and merry scarcely moving the long grass feel mouse i can see you pass little thing in what the den lie you all the winter sleeping till warm weather comes again then once more i see you peeping round about the tall tree roots nibbling at the fallen fruits field mouse field mouse do not go where the farmer arranges sorry, where the farmer stacks his treasures find the nut that falls below eat the acorn at your pleasure but you must not steal the grain he has stacked with so much pain make your hole where the mosses spring underneath the tall oaks shadow pretty quite harmless thing play about the sunny meadow keep away from acorn and house none will harm you little mouse and children here there are few words and the meaning acorn a fruit of the oak tree acorn a fruit of the oak tree scarcely rarely hardly next nibbling eating or taking small bite stack arranges neatly mosses mosses means small flowerless green plant okay next meadow meadow means a pre piece of grassland a area with grassland children in the poem the field mouse the poetess has used personification what is personification personification is when you give human qualities or abilities to things or animals okay so when we give human qualities when we compare a thing with human qualities and that is known as personification for example the chair is grumbling with angry okay the wind is very fierce the wind is very fierce so here fierce is a human quality so we show the angerness so when we compare or when we relate angerness giving human qualities to the wind or for any animal or thing and that is known as personification and the switching and personification is when you give human qualities to animals or things okay see for example the ash tree sheds its berry the ash tree sheds its berry so here the ash tree is personified as uh, ash tree is personified and it is may it is uh, making us to look like it is doing some action what action the ash tree is doing it is shedding it is shedding its berry and the switch in the next step so based on the personification based on the personification we have an activity okay see underline what is being personified and say how it has been personified now here yeah, i hope you have understood personification personification means when we give human qualities for things or for an animal okay so here in the questions we have to underline which word has been personified which thing or which uh, animal is being personified has given human qualities okay which thing or which animal is given human qualities okay first one time flies and waits for no one time flies and waits for no one so in this question time 
has been personified time has been personified by making it seem like the time flies so it does an action what action it flies time flies and it is not waiting for no one it does not wait for no one we have to be punctual okay and the switch is here time has been personified and it is uh, making us to seem like it is flying and it is waiting for no one and the switch is next my flowers are begging for water children does flowers beg for water no but here we are giving human qualities okay here my flowers has been personified my, for flowers we have given human qualities like begging okay my flowers has been personified and it seems like flowers are asking or requesting for water and the switch children next the thunder was grumbling like it was angry the thunder was grumbling like it was angry so in this question thunder has been personified for thunder we have given human qualities what are human qualities grumbling and angry right these are human qualities so here we have given thunder the human qualities like grumbling and angry so thunder has been personified thunder has been personified and its sound the thunder when thunder comes or struck the earth it gives some sound right so here thunder sound seems like it is irritated and angry on someone so it is making lot of noise and as such children here thunder has been personified it has been given human qualities and its sound thunder sound seems like it is irritated and it is angry on someone so that it is making loud sound got it next we will move on to next question till the next question the door protested as it opened slowly the door protested as it opened slowly <coughs> till and here the door is personified the door is given human qualities like protested think hey, does the door protest no so here sometimes the door struts right sometimes the door struts and we feel difficult okay we feel difficulty in opening the door it becomes tight okay so the tightness is related to protest okay the tightness the difficulty in opening the door is related or is compared to protest and the situation is the door protested as it opened slowly that the door is personified okay and the uh, human quality is protested okay next question the moon played hide and seek with the clouds the moon played hide and seek with the clouds so here the moon is personified and it is said that it has uh, the moon is played a game with the clouds right does the moon play game no but here it has been given human qualities okay so the moon has been given human qualities and it is telling us that the moon has played game with the clouds what is next that book was so popular it flew off the shelves that book was so popular it flew off the shelves so here book is been personified book has been personified and it makes us to seem like it has been flew away from the shelf okay does the book fly no here the book has been given human qualities okay that living things the qualities of living things that it has been flew off from the shelf since here the sentence tells us that the book was so popular and it has been read by many people so it is not kept in the shelf many people are taking it for reading and as you children next last one 
my car's headlights winked at me my car headlights winked at me so here the car's headlights car's headlights has been personified so how it has been personified so here it is telling that the car's headlights has winked this here it is shaking the eyes okay the car's uh, lights will wink at us no the action the action of the headlights on and off tells us that the car's headlight is winking at us so it winks at us okay here the car's headlight has been given the human qualities did it i hope you have understood the poem and the grammar part in the next class i'll come up with a new topic thank you children